What's up Kings? This is Alex Rome and today I'm going to show you how to make some big ass leads like Elenium and Seven Lions and just so you know I'm not wasting your time let's go ahead and play it real quick before I do like a half a minute of rambling sounds like this <laughs> That was actually odd sounding my headphones. I actually have two leads. I got this one too. We got some fat leads. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, this is the way it goes every single day. Uh, besides yesterday, actually. That's why I'm going to do two videos today. But every single day whatever I'm working on in that given day like today's a chill step song I'm gonna show you how to do something valuable in that song or I might uh, make something from scratch for you or I might remake a drop and uh, show you how I remade that drop oh yeah if you haven't checked out the sounds of the future uh, new sound bank go ahead go hit up the description below and check out the new sound bank sounds of the future a couple of these sounds in here are from that sound bank and also my EDM masterclass is in the description too go hit it up guys all right let's get it let's get down to these leads all right so this is like a fat chill step song I was going for something in the style of seven lions Elenium, that Volterix kid who put up that really famous uh, template that like millions of people downloaded um, <clears throat> and this song right here, Last Hero's Dimension. This would probably be my guide for this song. I'm like literally remaking this song with different chords and different sounds. But anyway, let's get to making these leads. So, we're going to load up a new software instrument, and this is our goal to get something like this. Something really with consistent power and a lot of air and a lot of dimension, whatever. A lot of times people try to make big leads by taking small leads and putting the volume all the way up. And that's not going to help you at all. Big leads have a lot to do with compression, consistency, and where they sit in the stereo image. So if your lead is too wide, uh, you're not going to get a strong mono. And if your lead's 100% in mono, might not be the strongest sound you could ever get, but with some good delay and reverb, you'll get a pretty fat lead. So let's get it done. Um, these leads, I always start with either a saw wave or a square wave, and the reason being is those are the two kind of polars that you're going to be working with. Uh, with these leads after you put the distortion and stuff on it kind of messes with the sound of that wave anyway so uh, but those are the two different sounds you're gonna get okay so we gotta get this lead sounding big big leads have a lot of movement or at least in this song they do so I'm gonna add some ducking to it like that now right there that doesn't sound that great we gotta add some greatness to this lead and so I'm gonna just make it bend every time it goes down to a new note so let's check out this uh, lead here we got some overlapping notes all that means is when say this note goes to this note it's gonna bend up to this note because they are overlapping this note will not bend down to this note because they're not overlapping. Uh, same here. These aren't going to overlap here. Overlap here and they're not going to bend for that reason. That was weird. I thought I had all these bending. That's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. So let's go ahead and see what we get if we put up some unison and kind of put our detune right here. And I'm going to put my port speed up. So we get that. Right there, that's still a boring lead. We need to add a messy distortion to it. That lead right there is too clean. 
So it's never going to sound special because there's nothing, there's no character. Character comes from adding messy shit like dirt. You add dirt to it like distortion and, uh, you know, try to get some artifacts from compression or bit crushers or stuff like that. So I had two leads in this one. I played both of them for you. One was downsampled. One was folded, I think. So right there. Get a little bit of a mess there, but that's okay. <clears throat> that mess is a little too wide for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a direction mixer and pinch it a little bit, just make it stay in mono for right now. We can fix that later. But now, now that we have some dirt on it, what we wanna do, this is like really like a little trick that I learned uh, back when I was streaming. You get the uh, reverb and you turn the like the space and size all the way down and you put the mix all the way up hear that it kind of gets like a little backing to it which is crazy that's like a really cool sound next thing that I like to do is I like to add a little bit of uh, well actually we can hold off on that for now let's go down here and uh, add a little bit we're not gonna do OTT yet either actually <laughs> I'm like all over the place here put that down here because we need some room all right next part we're gonna drop an EQ I'm gonna show you how to EQ a lead look at this look at all that dirt down there you don't want that dirt there that's for your baseline you'd be crazy to leave that dirt down there so we're not gonna leave it Next thing I'm going to do is add some crazy <laughs> delay. I was like thinking like, what do we do first? Delay or reverb? You do delay first. Never do reverb first if you're going to add delay. You can do reverb first if you only have reverb. But uh, you let your delay out first because if you have it after a big reverb, you're not even going to hear it. All right, so let's get some a little bit of delay here. Delay is always perfect for big leads because it makes the leads last longer, right? So if you ask yourself, what exactly is a big sound? A big sound is a sound in which lasts for a long period of time with strong consistency. So it's loud and it lasts long. That's a big sound. A big sound isn't a quick, like something that you hear for like, a millisecond like a pluck that's not really what I consider a big sound you could have a big big pluck but usually those are the plucks that last long and have a lot of strong character to them so we're gonna make this last long here you get a little something like that and lastly, I'm going to throw on, oh yeah, by the way, I'm using H delay, but you could use Logic's delay. I don't like Logic's delay. doesn't have as much character as H delay. I think H delay is significantly better, like by a long shot. It's not just a little bit better, it's significantly better. Um, because it could do, it does the ping pong really well, which means your delay signals are shooting ear to ear, and that's just better. Like, I can't get a good delay logics delay also I'm gonna use vintage Valhalla verb move that over there because I think I'm gonna have my face cam over here but um vintage Valhalla verb this reverb is so good all you have to, all I do ever is mess with the mix and decay uh, it's a very fancy reverb sounds really good uh, I could do way better with this reverb than I can with chroma verb get something like that and then what I do is a little bit of OTT
add a little bit of craziness and what OTT will do is it'll glue the reverb and the delay to the lead <laughs> I do this like every time I talk about OTT every time I bring up OTT watch me do this I don't know why why, why I do that but I just do that So that's the lead with a saw wave. Now, since you have all your effects here, you get creative and see what different uh, waveforms sound like and different distortions as well, because they will change the sound of this. So right there is a square wave. Uh, to me, it sound that sounds a little too. Um, what do you call it? Like a police siren. I don't like that. Anytime an electronic sound kind of sounds like something that's not supposed to be, like a police siren, uh, you gotta like you change it up, or else it's just gonna sound like the the cops are coming every time you play your song. See right there, just by putting the octave up on the square, that has got that really nice, you know, seven lions ring to it. Slash, what a elenium. I'm going to cut the super highs off a little bit. And right there, you got a crazy fat lead. There's still a little bit more saw in there than I want. Um, but I wonder if I can't change this wave here and get something insane. Also, something worth trying is downsampling. So when you hit this up, try some downsampling. And right there, you got a fat lead. And it's worth trying so there you go guys hope you enjoyed today's tutorial we got one coming out later tonight too we're gonna do two tutorials today um, but yeah go ahead comment your thoughts in the comment section below uh, let me know it's good good or bad uh, leave a fat like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here I would really appreciate that guys peace out